Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Doomcast. I'm Dan Umphan. Uh, I am kind of at a loss, because for the first time in recorded history, they've released a Marvel Legends wave, where the only thing that I actually want is the Build-A-Figure. And I could give two shits about any of the individual figures in the wave. Yes, it's true. The second Disney Plus wave has come out, and to be perfectly honest, the only two figures that I even honestly think are worth a darn are these two. But the Build-A-Figure, the Infinity Ultron, <laughs> oh baby, you better believe I'm ready. So, we're going to put them together. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Doomcast. I'm Dan Umpton. Let's party. Now that is a pretty darn nice Build-A-Figure. Uh, I was real excited when they announced Infinity Ultron. But then, like I said, they announced the rest of the wave. Um, Infinity Ultron's the big bad from What If, uh, a series that I thought started off very mid, uh, like the rest of this wave, and uh, actually ended up getting much, much better as it went on. It's probably one of my favorite Disney Plus shows uh, alongside Loki. Um, but the the rest of the wave, boy, there's a bunch of stuff uh, that that frustrates me. But first, let's talk about this Infinity Ultron because I think it's pretty sick. The paint apps uh, are pretty much strictly gold. There's not a whole lot of other paint other than the Infinity Gems. Um, the only thing that I think is a drawback, they could have provided an alternate head with the... Uh, the helm open with the the actual vision face um, and I feel like one of the minor things that I'm a little cranky on is the fact that the wrist articulation is outward instead of downward so you can't really have him hold the lance um, and just directly point it um, not necessarily a deal breaker but that would also be nice if um, you know he could do that I guess um, um, but the rest of the wave, um, my, my actual favorite figures here, let me go ahead and just point out that my big problem with MCU figures in general, since they started making them, has been, uh, a sort of greater rigidity and lack of posability. Now it seems like Hasbro is using plastic that is, um, slightly cheaper, a lot more malleable, um, this Moon Knight, Mr. Knight, uh, is about as close as I think we're going to get to getting a comic book version of Mr. Knight anytime soon, even though the MCU uh, Moon Knight version is nothing like the comic book version of Mr. Knight at all. Um, for all his faults, the Warren Ellis, Declan Shelby, uh, Mr. Knight was freaking great. Um, and I would have loved to have seen something quite like that. Um, I don't know. Moon Knight was, was fine. Uh, this is a pretty sick figure, and I do like the stitching on the, the cowl. That's a pretty decent design. Um, also, you know, for what it was, She-Hulk, which, yeah, I did it. I, I did it. I did the pose. I wasn't not going to if I had to buy a She-Hulk figure to get this. I'm absolutely going to have her toward body yadi yadi She looks like she's about to go potty yadi 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 though. Um... I can't believe I just said that. She-Hulk figure, though, that might be the standout of the bunch. I'll be honest with you, though. I feel like the Infinity Ultron should be at least as tall as the She-Hulk and maybe a little bit bigger. Um, and it's not. I'm a little surprised at that, but it's okay. Um, I guess Ultron was the same size as every other character in the MCU. I don't think he was. Uh, but okay, that's fine. What, uh, what if? Go ahead. Get it wrong. That's all right. Uh, I didn't get the weird forehead issue. Um, some people got a, uh, a Shulky with a five head. I didn't, fortunately. Um, some of the detail of the costume, you know, pretty all right. I feel like a lot of these could do with, like, paint washes, but um, this one got probably the face, maybe the best out of any of them. Anyway, that one I'm good with. Um, the... 
The Hawkeye figures, um, I don't think I love almost at all. That show was fine. It was pretty good. I uh, feel like they should have paid David Aha directly for um, a lot more money uh, for the look of that show and the whole concept, uh, him and Matt Fraction. I don't necessarily mind the articulation of the figures, although they do feel kind of rigid, just like uh, most of the rest of the MCU figures do. Um, but I feel like they could have given them actual arrows uh, to knock onto the bows. That would have been great, um, like they did with uh, the Danny Moonstone uh, a while back. Those arrows were really thick and clunky. But having one to knock or be in the process of um, knocking would have been awesome. Anyway, uh, I would have loved to get a actual comic book uh, Hawkeye from the Fraction AHA run um, and Kate Hawkeye as well. Maybe from the Kelly Thompson run. But, you know, can't be perfect. Those are fine. Um, and then my, <laughs> my two least favorites. Um, I can't tell a fundamental difference uh, other than the head between this Kamala Khan and the other Kamala Khan figures that they have released. Um, I like the character just fine. I just feel like, why does she have uh, the lateral wrist articulation and frickin' Ultron doesn't? I don't understand that. Why? Does she, does she have a flashlight she needs to be holding? A lance? A sword? She's got the lateral articulation on both wrists. What is she supposed to be... Did, did you give her literally any accessories? No, she just came with Ultron's torso. Um, also, does not really look anything like uh, the actress playing Kamala. Um, not great. Uh, Sharon Carter. I feel like it, they're taking in a super weird direction in the show. Uh, I, I don't love this, and this knife is this overly enormous, very flimsy, black Bowie knife <laughs> that looks like the cheapest accessory that I have ever seen. It's the flimsiest piece of plastic, and I hate, hate, hate it. I don't want an actual knife, obviously. The stun baton, okay, that's fine, I, I guess, whatever. Um, who cares? I'll probably sell all of those loose except for She-Hulk and Mr. Knight um, because I don't really feel like I can justify keeping a whole lot of figures. But this, this is the first figure that I think I have probably gone for uh, that I absolutely needed to build a figure and didn't really care about a single other figure in the wave. And that is probably the last time I'm going to do anything like that. Um, that's all. I mean, there, there isn't just isn't a whole lot that you can do with this, I think. Um, but man, the the design of this, I couldn't get over it. The lance is sick. Um, the it, you know the head is great. Like I said, it needs a you know it needs a removable cowl or removable beaver is what what that's called. Is that's a it's a beaver. Um, I know that because. I know more than I should about medieval armor because I'm a dork. But uh, yeah, this is uh, a totally sick figure. And I love it. And I can't wait for, you know, maybe some more what if and some craziness there. Um, it really took a while to start feeling what if-y, but when it did, ho ho buddy, it was great. Well, anyway, that is Infinity Ultron. It's still a nice piece and it looks cool and it's very glossy. So that is going in the case for the display. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching the Doomcast. Peace.